Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this RhinoWorks instructional video. In this four-part series, we'll be talking about how to get started with your new Airboss 300. This is part three, where we will go over all the things to take care of in order to begin spraying. Without further ado, I'll turn things over to Lee to get started. All right, everyone, I'm gonna show you how to spray with your Airboss 300. So we've already gone through the loading procedure. We've actually loaded fluid into our tank. If you didn't capture that segment, go back a couple and take a look at it before you get to this point. Um, I've actually already turned on my compressor and pre-charged it. So I've already got air in the compressor at about 110 PSI, but pretty soon I'm gonna turn it on to basically show you the whole, the whole piece. So before we start, we're gonna make sure again that our tank is on level ground never operated the seal coat unit on a hill or on a slant. That's a pretty good way of uh, damaging or reducing the life expectancy of your air compressor just because the fluid um, doesn't lubricate uh, as well when it's on an angle. Um, you're going to follow the startup procedure for your engine, which is shown in a prior video. Um, and uh, in this case, I've opened the top of my tank. I have my spray bar inside my tank and I'm testing with water. Um, if it's your first time doing this, before you go and do this with sealer, unless you've already loaded with sealer, uh, loading with water is always good. It's a chance for you to basically get comfortable with how everything's operating before you, uh, before you reach the point of no return and put sealer in your tank. Um, so my tank lids are open. My spray wand is actually inside my tank, nicely secured. All my ball valves are off. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my air compressor and I'm going to purge you know, the air out of my air lines and uh, just let the spray fan run until I feel that it's running good and steady and all the air has been purged out of the system. So here we go. So before I can spray, I need to make sure my lower ball valve is on. In this case, my ball valve is open from the tank. My ball valve to my sprayer is open as well. And the last step is to open my ball valve on my actual wand. And you can hear the unit pumping. And I've got a nice stable flow of fluid coming out of the tip. So I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna show you the spray and in a second, when the pressure drops, the compressor is going to kick back in. So you can see I've got a nice even fan. That's what I'm looking for. Ideally, you don't want to see any air popping out of the system. If it's spitting air, you're still not fully purged. So I just turned my compressor off, but as you can see, there's still a little bit of air in the system. And I purged, there's a little bit of uh, pressure in the system. I purged all the air out and I just have straight water. So I'm ready to spray. Um, my system looks good. I've got no, uh, no leaks or you know, no damage, no issues here. And uh, I'm confident that I can load this rig with sealer. I'll put some links in the description for all four parts of this series, as well as a general Airboss overview. That should do it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about what we've done here today or about any other RhinoWorks products, please visit us at www.rhinoworks.com. That's R-Y-N-O-W-O-R-X.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.